Right, once you've pasted it into the Excel spreadsheet, you need to highlight the first two columns and then go to Edit, Delete. And leave the quantity column in and leave the price column in. And now just click and highlight and drag the other columns, click Edit and then Delete. Now this is where a little bit of technical stuff comes in. Um, go to the next column, so column C, click in there, and then click, uh, type in equals, and then click on the next square, so that's selecting that square, and then click in times, so, so it's that square, times, and then click in that square, so it's B1 times A1, and then click enter so now that's not working so what you've got to do is go to edit as we did on the previous video go to find replace replace all that gets rid of the and sign and now you can see that it's calculated three times 4.5 is £13.50. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to go into any more detail. So now what you need to do is just click on that number and you'll see in the bottom right hand corner there's a little square. Put your cursor there. When you see it goes to a cross, left click and then drag it down and drag it all the way to the bottom of your list and there it is now. Just let go and that is that column set up. So you can see it's exactly the same as there, but if you scroll back up to the top where the quantity is more than one, it's actually worked that out for you. So now if you go down to the, one of the cells below, click in there and then click the auto sum, that sigma sign, and now it's selecting all of that. You don't want that. So just put your cursor in the last one, drag it all the way up to the top. So it's selecting all of the prices where it's taken into account the quantity as well. Click the enter sign and now you can see it's actually done the calculation with all of the multiple quantities and the single quantities. So I hope that helps. Uh, so this is a bit more accurate, but a bit more involved. Okay, bye now.